Lens. Right, we've come up to Shrigley Engineering. We've got Andy here and his mate Shawno, and um, we're just going through the M44. We're, we're supposed to start from scratch, but it, we, we sort of mislaid that a bit. M42, sorry, <laughs> correct <laughs> me. Just to give you a quick look around the the workshop. Oh and, no, mate, don't go down. And, Andy does uh, he does lots of engines. We've got all sorts in here. Dyno room. There's a machine shop in there. So yeah, it's all going on, engines everywhere. So we've got, this is Andy, he's building the engine. He's the one who originally did it. He did the stroke car, the crank, got all that working. Um, Andy, what, what's your overview of these engines? What do you reckon? What's that? Uh... Oh, they're really good, mate. Always, always good to start with a good engine, isn't it? If you're gonna modify one, but yeah, I think they're belting. Is um, it, is it, it's not, I mean, you get lots of people who buy cranks to put it in, but I presume it's not the sort of thing that, Joe Bloggs down the, down his garage is going to be able to stick a crank in and... You know what, mate? I don't see the reason why not. If you're an able mechanic, there's nothing shook about them. And oh, right. I like foolproof because it's so, such a good design in the first place. Right. Um, so so it's know, a good starting point to... Yeah, all to, we've done with yours is, apart from letting the nose off a standard crank into the uh, diesel, is it M47? Yeah, M47 crank. M47 crank. That was a bit of a tricky bit, but apart from doing that, it's a crank, set of rods, we we got bespoke one made over him, but you know um, I think there's a combination of some BMWs that you can use. Isn't there? I think the rods we used were standard M42 ones to start with, and then they. Oh, we I, did, yeah, yeah. We used it on the short piston, didn't we? Remember yeah. That? So these are these, XC, the, these, these are XC pistons. These look. <laughs> There's your new box. Right. Yeah. So they these are the the ones you've put in are the same as these. These are the ones that came out. Yeah. 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 And so what's the difference between that and a standard piston at the M42? Um, well, what it is, it's a really short compression height, so if you look, it's uh, the pin is really high in the, in the piston, and it's a near two-ring piston as well, it's a proper race piston, a forward piston. But with putting it on a 90mm stroke diesel crank, we didn't want the rod to stroke ratio to get a bit carried away, a bit low, so by, we've actually got a longer rod in the longer stroke block now, in right. the same height block, because we've got the short piston. So these are standard, not standard, these are... A piston that was made by Bob Jones for his um, XE, but he had an abundance of them, so we bought like five boxes of them. Right, and and, and it's got, and um, got your rod made to suit. So yes, the rods apart are... from I remember we had to get bushes done for the. Oh yeah, that was on the standard rod, but then that was a we shortened your block, didn't we? Yes, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, you you dropped but, the you decked it, didn't you? The yeah, slot. yeah. This one was standard height block with a bespoke rod that matches. The, the bush is correct, everything's correct for that right. piston. So, and all the compromises are stuck out of it. You've just gone through it, just briefly go through this thermostat. Oh, yeah, 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 it's just because that's quite interesting. I know it looks a bit ropey, but there's a bung, and there's a reason for that is that the thermostat's got like two discs on it. So, one stops the uh, water from going one way, and then the other one stops it from going to the head. It's to do with the warm up cycle on them, but we want all the water because your electric water pump now, the water comes in through this inlet doesn't go into the head it goes straight down goes right to the back of the block and then it comes up through the back of the block and then it comes out this side and into your uh, top of your radiator that. right and so that if you just take the thermostat out oh yeah you can make a right all nightmare for yourself because the water just goes around in a circle so it'll overheat yeah, rather yeah. than help cool it yeah, down yeah yeah right and what what was involved with the nosing of the crankshaft because it was a lot longer before wasn't it the m47 crank yeah, you just gotta get a scrap um, M44 or M42 crank and chop the nose of it off. And then I just put the crank in the lathe and a steady. And I just basically let into the front of the first main. I think you've got some pictures on your phone from back in the day. Oh, right, I'll try and dig them out. Seven yeah. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I just let the nose in. And then I think on the first one, I drilled it and pinned it. I didn't actually weld it or anything, didn't want to distort anything. It just locked tight it in. And then what you do is you drill and tap the crank. I think it's an M14 Audi. Um, in fact, I've got, I've got one in. Audi M14 um, front uh, hub nut that we used. So it goes right the way through into the crank. Right. So when you tighten it, it holds the nose up against the where you've made it to sit, basically. Right. So, the whole, so it's all drawn in from the back rather than... Because you don't want anything moving, do you? Because it's no, got the, God, no. the timing wheel on there as well. No, no but... Yeah, it, it, it clots up all fine, and and it's been no problem that side of it at all, has it? And that, that's just the blanking plate from the old water pump, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's where the, the pump would go. So the electric water pump. You can pump see now. the hole there where the water goes down. So comes in here, goes down to the back of the block, and out through here. 
The, um, uh, the reason, one of the reasons I went for an electric water pump is after the thermostat was changed, I was having problems getting it up to heat. If I was on a motorway or something, it was, oh, yeah, it was yeah. running so cold, freezing. so I had to tape up the radiator. So, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was overfueling, and it, it was... Um, oh, yeah, because so, you're going too cold. Because it was going too cold, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so these are the throttle bodies off um, an M3, yeah. a 3-litre yeah. M3. Oh. Yeah, they're a bit big, to be honest, aren't they? They're like 52mm. Yeah. I think, ideally, this engine would benefit more from like a bit of airspeed, a 45mm uh, throttle body, but... It is what it is, and it works for you, doesn't it? So yeah, and, and it does go very... I'm very impressed with how it goes. Oh, I mean, right. obviously, we want them to go as fast as possible, but for the sake of... I'd have to get new throttle bodies... Um, it just Manifold, and, and, yeah, I mean... And remap it, 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 it fits the bill, doesn't it? It does what it needs to do, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's, they're, they're not tremendously powerful, are they? That, you know, in the scheme of, like, a, a similar-sized uh, XC engine or something like that, you know... The, the dynamics of it all it's um it's a good torque monster but it's not right it's not um well it, 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 we're running a standard crankshaft at the end of the day so we're not going to start sticking eight and a half thousand rpm on it mm, but you yeah. know it's a big diesel it is steel and it is, but they're quite good cranks on oh yeah, yeah yeah it's got in, induction hardened pins etc and all the rest of it but when you want to stick a load of rpm on it you need lightweight race parts really bespoke you know yeah. it survived well we're in so is it runs seven seven fifty or yeah yeah, so, so it's, it coats with that, but anything more, I think we'd need to get a crank made. And then you might as well get an even longer stroke. Crank yes, made. yeah, and do a bit more, get yeah, more involved in it. Because you were talking about doing a 2.5 block, weren't yeah, you? I was but... dead excited about it at one point, but the Hillman jobs took over for me now, hasn't it? So I don't get involved in it. Well, yeah, we can see there's, there's Hillman engines absolutely yeah. everywhere. It yeah, seems yeah. to be your main yeah, forte well, of, yeah. of what you do. Um, Back, back to this one again. Cause right, yeah, sorry. I've, cause you, you, I've, I've got a little interest in the helmets. Yeah, no, fair play. <laughs> um, camshafts. Tell this me about is the camshafts. Well, these are your new cams, aren't they? Yeah. So this so, is the second phase. A bit so, more duration, a bit more lift. Right, so I've seen advertised for sale you can buy camshafts that go into these engines with the hydraulic buckets and oh, all right, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I spoke to the guy selling them, and he said they can only change... They have to regrind the camshaft, and they can only do it by... I think it's one mil or yeah, something. Yeah, because or... if you change the base circle of the standard cam, you, the, the, the hydraulic follow runs out of range, but you don't want hydraulics on a race engine. It's no. just not the way to go, is it? It's, these cams, the first set you had were, were like quite mild, really, because you were still running a standard gearbox like eight years ago, weren't you? Mm, so yeah. now um, you've got your six-speed gearbox, where you can obviously make the, the power a bit further up and a bit more peakier, so... That's why we're going for the wilder cams. Right, so um, the, these have got a, a bigger... Pr I don't know much about cams. Yeah, well, so the, the, these cams are done by Bob Jones. They are actually one of his... Um, what he calls like a 235 horsepower. Um, it's called a Bob S-Fat. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't ask me why he called it that, but they're for, out of his pickup pick up engines, which he did for the um, pickup championship, which all ran Vauxhall XE. So just to talk about this, this is your, your replacement... Uh, follower, it's a Cosworth, uh, they call it a long dick follower. Right. <laughs> and then, um, oh, see, that's, that's inside the, the follower. Yeah, so instead of your hydraulic now, you've got these are Vauxhall XE shims. Right. So that shim gets the correct clearance between the cam and the and the valve. And, and the so you've follower. got a variety of sizes of shims. Yeah, just yeah, to we just grind them to, to, to get the clearances correct. And then it's run on the original valves, which are on a nice, I think it's six mil stem. And then these are, um, this is actually a kit for a Vauxhall. A Ford Duratec, which was the same taper and same size collets. Oh, so the spring was in the. So the spring, the, the spring and cap, the titanium spring and the double valve spring from Kent is all available for a Duratec. Right, so, and that fits on here. Yeah, and yeah. Did you have to do any work on the cam? Yeah, you carrier? Gotta, You have to machine loads of bits out of it to make the bucket go. Now it's same size. It's just rough machining just for clearance because they have like a cap on them. It's a weird setup for standard. Right. So you can't just buy a set of these cam. Well, you can't buy a set of these cams anyway, can you? But you you couldn't get a ca set of cams made. Uh, it, it, it's yeah, you could. It's all everything's got a time. Everything you've got to work out your seat pressure, your spring load, and all the rest of it. And then you know it, it, it's a lot to it. It's not just and obviously you can't do any of that unless you've got the uh, the piston with the valve cutouts in it because obviously you get you get collision at top dead center. Yes, yeah. So everything ties into everything else. Compression rate. That you can't do one thing without the other. You know. Right. And now it's got these new cams in. Have you got any idea what sort of power it'll make? Oh, mate, probably nothing extravagant, mate. 235, 230, if it's lucky. 
So yeah, but when when you, you first you, you rolled voted it at two seventy, didn't you? Two fifty seven. Wow. Well, it's two. It was actually two sixty one to start wow. with. But you did it at two hundred and thirteen, didn't you, on yours? Yeah. But um, is, is yours just a bit economical? The, to be honest, the guy who did mine, it was an Audi approved rolling road, and it had just been calibrated the day before. And he said, "You won't get more accurate than this." I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but so it's no, there's no way on the old cam profiles. It had the area to do that horsepower. It, right, it, so so it there was ran some... out of puff at six and a half thousand revs, didn't it? It was um, it was a talk. It was all about mid range. It was very talky. Yeah. Whereas this now we should hopefully it should. I'd like, even the torque drops off. Hopefully the power will carry on increasing, and we'll see. Yeah, I, I can't wait to try it. It's, I'm I'm so excited. It's going to oh, be yeah. great. Um, also, when you decked the block, didn't there wasn't there an issue with the timing chain or something? Didn't wasn't it too long or did you have to do something with it? There's different things you can do. I mean. With your engine, um, what we've got, which I'm not prepared at all, this is the hydraulic tensioner. But what we do with it is we use um, a pair of washers, basically. So, right. so that if for any reason you say you fell off the track and you left it in gear and went backwards down a hill, if the engine decides to run backwards, the chain is under control, so we can't end up with a situation where the valves get caught up with the pistons. Oh, because there are engines, aren't there, that if they go backwards, they Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't like going backwards. Yeah. There's not much space in there in the start place. So yeah. if we can just control, if you imagine as soon as the engine goes backwards, the tensioner gets pushed all the way back out, the engine loses oil pressure, so the hydraulic tensioner collapses, it goes backwards, and then obviously there's not as much control because the slack side is on the tight side. Right, <laughs> so, yeah, because it's all know, backwards, so, yeah. By that, by putting the washers in, we make it mechanically safe so that it can go forwards, backwards, whatever. Right, and I, and I suppose you know all this through experience from working on engines through, and through getting it wrong. It's called <laughs> yeah, 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 trial and error. Through, through getting <laughs> it wrong, loads. <laughs> so so everyone watching the video can benefit from all your trial and error. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't tell anyone anything. Ever. No, no, no. Don't tell not anyone anything. Yeah. Not not too much anyway. <laughs> so it was all balanced as well, wasn't it? You got it all. Um... Yeah, because we ground that. They had a big gear on the on the crank for the um, oh the timing wheel yeah it was yeah. It for a balance shaft in the sump of the it had a, a timing wheel halfway along for the crank sensor to yeah it had yeah. a big gear on it so we ground that off right. and we sent the crank away with the steel flywheel wheel the oh sorry it didn't have a timing wheel inside because it's the M forty two oh no it was an M forty seven yeah I'm getting confused diesel. now with I think the diesel's engines. got balance shafts or something maybe right. it's an, oil, an oil pump or something but so that was all ground off and took that off balanced. and then it was rebalanced the crank yeah the crank's lovely to be fair it's a nice it's, it's all it's all good kit it's, it's yeah like we said before at the beginning Whenever you modify an engine, it helps to start with a good one. Yeah. I, I picked the Hillman engine, which was not a particularly good one. But, but, you know, but you're happy with this one. This is, yeah, well, it's just, it's well over-engineered, you know. Well, that, that's, I mean, these pistons are out of the engine that I've been, yeah, seven, I've been hammering for seven, seven years. Seven years. I mean, they're worn and they're up on their hours, which is why we changed them. It doesn't help when you keep um, putting it back in first gear at 80 mile an hour. But, <laughs> we don't go on about that too yeah. much, do we? But, well, I, I, I was really worried that I'd squashed a... A um, a cap on the big ends from over oh, revving right. it. Yeah, yeah, no, they all look good. We've but they all look good, mate. They all. They've like... replaced the bolts just as a matter of course. But yeah, well, I've got to be. Everything was absolutely fine. There was, that's it, it. Took that that pain absolutely no problem. So seven years and over revving should be fine again. Yeah, yeah. I'll come bring it back in seven years. Yeah, time. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, Andy, um, I know it's been a bit. I was supposed to help you take it apart and clean it up, and we were going to go through it and know, do you, all that. Yeah. But it's but been I, a bit rushed, you know, isn't it? unfortunately, things happen, don't they? And I'm lazy, so um, it's much easier if you do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, brilliant. <laughs> but thanks for g going through it and explaining what's what, and yeah, you know, no, cool. Can't pleasure, wait to pleasure, give it a go. Man. It's an excellent bit of kit that. And uh, good luck with all the imp engine. We yeah, really I'll look, you know I'll what look you're forward doing. to when it's my turn to interview you on the Jersey Valley this year. Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, because Andy comes over and helps service. Um, Andy's got his own YouTube channel where he... <laughs> where no one goes on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, not a great deal to go on mine, but um, the... What's it called, your YouTube channel? Um... I don't know. That's why people don't go on it. Might be just Andy Jones. <laughs> Andy Jones. I'll put a link in the description because Andy's got some really interesting things and it's not just about imp engines and that. He's doing the Cosworth and there's all sorts in there. Roll, was it Aston Martin block? and Yeah. There's all sorts going on. They tried and, a few different things but nothing, nothing gets the hits like uh, Jersey Tim's... Uh, what is it? The BMW on throttle bodies, idling in the gap. Yeah, standard M42 yeah, on throttle 8, bodies. 8, hits. Yeah, people seem yeah. to really enjoy it. 
um, which is great for me. But I've got we, some. We need to blow something up in the dyno. That's what we need. Yes, well, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get another engine and blow it up, and then uh, yeah, RPM and have a picture of it. It's clickbait. Yeah, yeah we'll share it. Um, yeah. So, well, thanks very much, Andy. Um, You're very I'm, welcome. I'll just before we go, I like that. That's that's like something out of Wacky Racers. That's. Um, <laughs> is that going on the M42, is it? Just to give yeah, it, give it enough in, fuel. Put it in half. <laughs> no, oh, so it's enough for two engines there. Brilliant <laughs> yeah. stuff. And also what we need to do is get you an M44, isn't it, for you to look at and see see what you no, think of it. No, I have no interest whatsoever. I'm so sorry. Uh, if you need any work doing on your M42 what? or 44, give talk, Andy a ring. You can talk about your next engine. Underneath ah. here, this is the Jersey Tim 2.5. We've, we've, we've not done a bit of it for a while. The pistons and rods are done. They, they, I, I love them pistons. It's yeah. based on the Lotus 907 engine with a special cylinder head. We've had the cams made, but we just ran out of time. Just got too busy and had children. But yeah. we will get round to it. That I'm really excited for that. That should be um, a, a beast of an engine. So yeah. it's 2.5 litre. I mean, Short stroke, 84 by 97 it is. Does that mean it'll be a Revy? Yeah, we're going to see eight and a half, nine out of this. Yeah, right. that'll yeah. howl, won't it? 300 and, horsepower. And it's going to have downdrafts. Yeah, we've got uh, throttle we've bodies. Got, we've made all that. Oh, they're all done. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and it's got um, two stage injection on it as well. So we've got the. So that's all proper is, stuff. And uh, the. Well, no, it's, this is like your t shirt job. It's all made up of rubbish. Bodies. No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about that. <laughs> it's all built and sent away and CNC'd. And the. Um, Cam belt. Oh yeah, you like that bit, don't you? I do like that. Yeah, they yeah, inter we'll intermesh, out. don't they? Well, yeah, because it's such a, um, a narrow angle head, because it's a mod modern car, the cylinder head. Because the 907 has was had a bit of an asthmatic head, so these go on the front of here, obviously. But the only way we can get them to go round is like that. Obviously, it, it, I've had this all bolted together. Oh, so they're so close. If they weren't yeah. grooved out, they would they would hit each other. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a real shallow angle head. It's lovely. It's like F1 tickets. If it works, if you ever finish it, it should do good horsepower. Yeah. Three and stage dry sump pump on it. And Is that the crank for it? Yeah, that's a steel uh, stroker. That's a stroker crank for a um, Lotus Sunbeam. Oh, right. So, yeah. so, so it's the same block as the Lotus Sunbeam block. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. But it, 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 we've long rodded it. It's two to, one, two to one rod to stroke ratio. Had rods made. They're um, 97 mil pistons from a... They were out of like um, some supermoto bikes, some YZ450F it is, I think. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. 2017, when I first started doing it. Yeah. Incredible. Well, well we, yeah. I think what we need to do is get the finger pulled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um, just wear it. I'll it. stop giving you BMW. Well, no, I do like the BMW engine, but um, yeah, that, that is, uh, that's that's going to be lovely. That'd be lovely in the E30. We will <laughs> Powering do it, down yeah, the lanes, will, ready to go. When I get when I stop doing daddy daycare and uh, child pickups from school and yeah, yeah and all four everything and else, and, life yeah. that gets in the way and yeah. things going on. But you know the imps are the bread and butter, aren't they? And that's it. Got to keep you, the Hillman job going. Yeah. yeah, got to pay for the rent and everything. So this this is just like a sideline, isn't it? That rain food. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you like a a challenge, and I'm, I'm sure there's loads of other interesting things around here, like, I just like V8 Hillman imps and yeah, so stuff. Yeah, like baby climax down there. I'm not, not sure what that is. Yeah, it's for a Formula 750 car. Just need to get to that one as well. <laughs> um, anything else BMW that's interesting? BMW? Oh, what? That's a bit cheeky. Oh, yeah, there's BMW. Oh, there. What's that? What's that's that That's a 2 2 TII. Oh, right. What's happening with that? I just When I bought the Aqua Blaster, I thought it'd be really nice to blast it all up. I just love these engines. You could do that on YouTube channel, couldn't you? And yeah. Show before and just, after. And... But I just... Now I've bought it, I've got bored of it, so we just sat there. But one day, if I can ever get an apprentice, yeah. I'll... Um... If you want a job as an apprentice at Shrigley Engineering... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's in Manchester. Apply with him. Can we just have a look around here, Andy? Oh, my God. What's the light what? on? Have you rebuilt that? Has that got a stroker in it? Is well, that ready that, to go? That's for knocking through to the next unit. That's sat on top Expanding, of Expanding, I like it. Posh dyno, which isn't wired up. This all looks quite complicated. Yeah, that's so. the posh dyno. So never oh, there's two dynos. Thing. Yeah, that's the 1,000 horsepower one, but we don't need it anymore because we only do Hillman's. And then that's the Hillman dyno, which just was 300 So is, this is one of my engines going on, it's on the 1,000 horsepower. Yeah, you have to go somewhere posher, I'm afraid. What sort of power do you get out of a Hillman engine? 100 horsepower. 100 horsepower. I was just thinking if um, if you've got a spare one, could I have one as a starter motor for my engine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one. Yeah, and yeah. Up, mate. Right, this is where all the machining and bits and pieces happen. Mm. 
and um, the mess. And it is. I'll just get, do a quick look around here. That's where that's, Bo that's where Boren. Um, that's that's a they're, borer, is it? They're Van Norman borers off a um, like these been mobile back in the day when everyone was reboring stuff, you know. Right. Um, and then obviously I just mounted them on an old horizontal miller because I can do my offset boring them. That's a big one that does like hundred mil stuff. That's with Dave belongs to Hillman's. Right. This um, is uh, your heater. That's my heater. I don't like getting cold. Aqua blaster. This, this is called the rat blaster because um, we had a rat and he fell down to the tube there. Oh, it stinks. Oh, that, no, no, I've, cleaned that, it, I've cleaned it out since. That's not the rat smell. Oh, it's like a, a moist smell. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, no. So the, I was blasting and I thought someone's left like a black rag in the back of the blaster. So I went to grab it. And oh, it was a rat. It was uh, rat. So yeah, he's gone now. A lathe? Yeah, it's filthy. I can't yeah. believe you look around the workshop in this. Yeah, thing. but it's, it's working, isn't it? This is how it works. More in yeah, bits and that. In bits of blasting, cleaning. That's Carbs a bit and. Yeah, and that's, all that. that. that's doing my heads on that Miller. What's what's that engine there for the turbo? That's, that's my turbocharged Hillman engine for my space frame imp. Oh, is it? Is that one that you've done? Yeah, yeah, there? yeah, yeah. It's blowing through a pair of uh, 40s. It's just, just, oh, mate, I can't get near it. I've just got to get customer work out of the way. It's such a pain. If I won a lottery, I could do so much. Yeah, yeah, but I suppose it's... Um... I'd say if I've got a cover over the inlet. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> if you had one project, it probably would get done wouldn't it but you you've got so many on the go yeah Different yeah things. Well, it's just customer work look at them tiny them. things oh they're just scrap them yeah. they're not race ones no 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 no, no it's just someone came in looking for a second hand clutch so there's one there all right this is um your race car this has recently been to jersey isn't it you came over to do the hill yeah, climbs the festival of speed crash. yeah <laughs> well it was a little bump wasn't it it wasn't so much of a crash and it, and you did beat me as well so yeah um, yeah but that wasn't what one happened with my special engineering with the M42. Up on top of the ramp, that's my new space frame imp. Oh, that's right. It's that's hard to see that, that isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but... yeah, I've not built it yet, obviously. It's, uh... So what's happening with that? What's that going to be for? Oh, it's, it's in kit form. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build that and try and get out in this um, space frame championship with the CSCC. Uh, and could you use that for hill climbs and things as well? Yeah, yeah. bring it to Jersey. So would you use that? The, yeah, I'd the... love to. I'd absolutely love to. Because you're. this is actually converting into a rally car, isn't it? Yeah, what a good rallying. Yeah, with this one, because I got this posh cage made for it. I can show you the cage. You've got a line, you can look. I might have. I don't know how to use it then. It might just come on itself. Very professional editing. We'll, we'll edit this bit out, actually. Yeah. Walk around. All right, so you've got across door bars, plenty of cage in there. Yeah, big roof cage in it as well. So. Oh, yes, yeah. It just said uh, it put too much weight on, so it could never be any good for HSCC now. I suppose if everyone else has got a basic cage and it's... Yeah, you're, you're carrying 50 kilograms extra, you've got to stop it, turn it and accelerate it. And this is my ZF8HP 8-speed automatic gearbox, which I'm really keen to get into a car, because it's uh, 50 milliseconds gear changes and, and they 8-speed um, and they can handle 1,000 horsepower. And I paid £225 for that. So I'm looking forward to putting that in the car. So Andy, well, thank you very much for showing us around the workshop. Very um, welcome. Shrigley Engineering, definitely recommend it, especially if you've got an imp. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he loves BMWs as well. No, I don't. Oh, mate, look at the mess. Right, thanks for watching. Cheers, Bye. everyone. Take care and uh, see you soon.